Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We did it. All right, we're there. <laughs> okay. Power hurdle over. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I am Rose Chastain, the co-founder of Your Natural Healthcare, and with me today, I have Dan, the produce man. Hello, Rose. Nice huh? to be here. It is so great that you took the time to do this. I really appreciate it and, and, and want you to know that people have been very much looking forward to this particular interview. And thank you for your generous nature and being willing to share all your knowledge with us. Well, thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. <laughs> My pleasure. So before we jump into any of the questions, I wanted to introduce you for those poor souls who don't know you yet. Um, so Dan, Dan has a passion for produce and, uh, you know, I really do, although we're friends, I do refer to him as Dan, the produce man, because that really is who you are. And, um, uh, you started in uh, 1976 working in an open air produce market in Alameda and you were working there for more than nine years. And then you moved on to a supermarket chain. Um, you can say that he has done, Dan has been involved in almost every aspect of the produce industry. And before I met Dan, truthfully, I didn't even know that there was such an involved industry. But I'm telling you guys, the stuff that this man knows about produce is unbelievable. It'll blow your mind. And we were just before we went live, he was telling me about bananas he got. So <laughs> um, if you ever wanted to know anything about produce, fruits and vegetables, this is the man for you. So the other thing you should know is that he, when he was, when he was working as a produce manager, he also moonlighted as the rock jock on KCFM radio in the Bay Area. And Dan has one of those voices that was born to be on the radio. And for many years, how many years did the Produce Pair show air? Dan, do you oh, remember? Oh, the Produce Pair. Let's see. That ran from 1998 to 2005. So I guess about seven years. That's yeah. awesome. That is really <laughs> awesome. That yeah, was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> I bet. I mean, every time he goes, hello, folks, it's Dan the Produce Man. I can see the whole picture and the whole image. And um, But one of the things that's the most inspiring for me is, is that as a, a business owner, or owner, you have made sure that the produce you sold was sold from really great farms and really great um, people and you knew the people and you knew where the produce came from and Absolutely. I remember many many stories that you've told about okay this ugly orange is the sweetest she's ever going to be <laughs> you know and from these hundred year old trees and um, that kind of commitment to produce and to the world of produce um, I think you might know more about fruits and vegetables than than most people will ever even consider so thank you for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom. Well, thank you, Rose. You know, I, I always wanted to bring the very best eating experience of fresh fruit and vegetables to the customers. Mm -hmm. So when I would seek out different items like those ugly oranges or the really ugly white nectarines that were just absolutely flavorful that you couldn't, just couldn't beat it, um, I had to bring it out. And I would Tell folks, yes, this is the ugliest thing you're ever going to see, but it's the best thing you're ever going to eat. And yeah. it's true. <laughs> it is, it's really true. You know, in, in addition to being a, you know, a local business owner and, you know, where your natural health care is headquartered in Alameda and so is your business. And in addition to that, you've been a friend and one of William's best friends for years and years and years. And I can tell you that the amount of information you have passed on is immense and every time i buy produce i get an education about what dan the produce man would say about how to take care of the produce um so oh, from william when you're shopping so from william yes, oh, exactly. yes. so the, the asparagus has to be in water the lettuce has to be wrapped and dried and you know the, there's a whole lot of information you've passed on so um you have definitely impacted my life personally <laughs> well good i hope that's in a positive way that's for sure absolutely, <laughs> absolutely it is so i i wanted to you know I, i'm gonna ask some strange questions might be strange for you strange is my right up there it's my lifestyle awesome perfect <laughs> um because when i tell the truth i never really knew much about the care of produce you know the care of fruits and vegetables now i have hippie parents and 
you know, grew up eating vegetarian and, and love vegetables and would prefer to have vegetables in my meals than others. And I do eat vegetables for breakfast and love salads, but the actual care and information about produce is pretty lacking. I remember growing up, the only education that I got about produce was these little produce cartoons, you know, that said, eat vegetables. And that was it. And there is a whole lot more to this world of healthy eating than than the cartoons, right? Well, sure. And for <laughs> kids, they should know why they're eating those vegetables. They should know that, you know, Captain Universe is eating the fruits and vegetables for the vitality of his or her body and strength and not just body, but mind. And when the body and mind are together, the spirits together, it all works together and it comes from the earth. You know, the, the, it's, they're gifts of the earth. So all that vitality, you think about when you eat something grown out of the ground, you're eating sunshine, you're eating minerals that, uh, that have come up through, through the, the ground. You're eating the vibration that, that is all around it. You're, you're consuming a, a, an amazing amount of nutrients that, are, that aren't just physically enhancing, but spiritually and mentally enhancing as well. In fact, did you know that people who eat a diet rich in, but you don't even have to eat that many. If you eat three or four more servings of fruit and vegetables every day, a study at the University of Warwick in England and the University of Queensland in Australia showed is over 12,000 people were studied over two years. And it showed that folks who have fruit and vegetables as part of their regular diet every single day are more optimistic, they're more happy. Uh, it's, it's absolutely an amazing study. That's really cool. Now, yeah. I know one of the things you do in addition to broadcasting and voiceover and, and consult, you do consulting. And, um, you know, I was going to ask you a more serious question about the, the impact of our health of fruits and vegetables. Oh, sure. you, really, you really just addressed that. And I love what you said about you're eating nutrients, you're eating sunshine, you're eating you know, the, the whole of the earth when you consume plants and vegetables. But I, I would really like to know more about how, how do you support your clients in transitioning from, uh, let's say, a, a carnivore meat and potatoes type of diet to one more of vegetables and produce? I mean, what, what do you have to say to people who are, who are committed to being healthy, especially now we're all committed to being more healthy? Sure. And that's, um, well, I want to get one thing clear. My consulting business is actually for the produce industry as an operations type of uh, business. But oh, even better. So that's, so you're actually impacting even more people rather than individuals you're consulting with the, with the commercial aspects of it and making sure people are selling the right produce. Well, sure. Anything that they need in the fresh produce industry from retail to wholesale, to food service distribution, to flow. And what I've been doing lately is there's a lot of uh, produce companies that served just restaurants. And before this whole uh, virus thing hit, uh, they were thriving, they were doing good, but now all their eggs were in one basket, so to say. Yeah. And uh, a lot of restaurants are operating minimally. Yeah. So, um, some have turned to doing uh, produce boxes and home delivery, and I have specializing right now in that if there's a produce company out there that wants to get into the home delivery, fresh produce boxes or a grocery store that isn't online and wants to get up and running with fresh groceries and produce and the whole bit for home delivery or pickup locations, that's what I have been helping them work on. But to get back to your initial part of your question, I would... You know, when I worked with, in retail and worked with customers in the store and they were to ask me questions, I would get all kinds of questions, a lot of questions. Uh, one of the most popular ones was, Dan, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? And I'd go to the <laughs> store and I'd pick it out and they would leave very happily. But, yeah. you know, fruit and vegetables, you know, they help boost your immune system, which we really need right now, but we always need that. Um, but it also helps protect from certain types of cancers, diabetes, inflammation, macular degeneration, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, maintaining healthy weight, gastrointestinal health, uh, and optimistic mood, of course. So 
that's a lot. That's a lot that you're consuming. And it's, yeah, it's breaking the habit. Uh, it's breaking a comfort zone for a lot of folks because, you know, when I was a kid, we'd go to the A&W once, once a month, maybe. It was a treat. Uh, you go have a hamburger and a root beer and, and, and that was it. But fast food is now a way of life. Yeah. And folks who consume fast food on a daily basis, it, it, you're, you're, just, you're just waiting, preparing to become a medical drama for your kids later on in life. So if you can just get yourself to start putting the fruits and vegetables into your diet every day, and I mean fresh fruit and vegetables. Sure, canned and frozen is good, but you want to watch out for added sugars, added salt, and definitely added colors. Uh, there's a great book by Dr. Joel Furman called Salt, Sugar, and Fat. I recommend everyone read that because it really, really gets into the, the, the whole idea of consuming not just uh, you know leafy greens and fruits and vegetables, but beans and nuts and legumes, um, seeds. You had something yeah. about pumpkin seeds on your yes, we did. Instagram the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Now, now uh, if someone is transitioning into eating more vegetables, I, I loved what you said about consulting with um, companies to, to sort of pivot in these days and times and start sending out produce boxes. I think produce boxes are a great way for somebody to start experimenting with fruits and vegetables. Like, because every time I get my box, it's something different you know, and, and something new that I can try. Now, how do you tell, um, now I know you know the answer to this because I've heard it from William, but how do you tell how to, that something is right? And, and because I always pick the wrong thing. Like I, I pick avocados that go bad or they're too hard or, you know, my asparagus wilts or, or what, whatnot. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you tell that you're picking fruit that's ready or fruit or vegetables that are ready to eat? Well, that's a loaded question because there's so many different fruits and vegetables and so many methods of picking out each one. But uh, you mentioned asparagus and um, asparagus is, you know, you're going to want to check the stem end for sure and make sure there's no uh, the browning and decay and, and gooey stuff, but then check the tips and smell them. And as my buddy Guido the gardener used to say on the Produce Pair show, if it smells like a wet goat, 86 it. And I like <laughs> to say also, lift up the rubber band that's in the on the bunch of the asparagus. And if the rubber band has indented into the asparagus, you can see indentations there, then that grass is, well, grass is a nickname, that asparagus is on its way out uh, because it's already starting to dehydrate. We have a very sad situation because uh, most of the California growers, uh, commercial growers of asparagus have just thrown in the towel because mm. the imports out of Mexico have come in so abundantly and so cheap that they can't compete. Uh, yeah. But when you can get a uh, organic, uh, orga well, yeah, organic in, in California asparagus, like from Durst yeah. Organic Growers or the Peacock guys from Jacobs, Malcolm and Burke, find it and get it because it is really absolutely, there's, there's just nothing like it, nothing like fresh picked asparagus it's sweet it's tough it's hard and not not tough in in i mean it's durable in holding up not tough in eating so um, were, we're coming up on so, uh, i'm sorry go ahead so you're so full of resources I, I would love it if you could just repeat again first tell me the name of the book that you recommended that people read oh it's by dr joel Furman. F-U-R-H-A-M or F-U-H-M. Anyway, Dr. Joel Furman, you can look it up. It's called, uh, uh, oh, geez, you know, I, I gave you the wrong title before. I gave you Salt, Sugar, and Fat, and that's by a, another um, author that escapes me now, which I recommend that book, too, if you can get Salt, Sugar, and Fat. But um, Eat well, to Live, Eat, Eat to, to live, live by Dr. Joel Furman. Perfect. Perfect. And then, and then um, the next thing you, so you talked about asparagus. Okay. I love um, avocados. So can you tell us how <laughs> to tell if the avocados are ripe? <laughs> sure. Well, you know, it's funny because in the old days, you'd only get uh, green skin avocados to the winter. Now you have Hass avocados grown around the world, imported. 
all through the year. But um, figuring February, uh, when they really start hitting, uh, California avocados go all the way up through September. That's your best time of the year for the Hass avocado, the most popular variety. And uh, you can't go wrong with, with California avocados. There's just, there's no time on them. They, they're picked, packed and ripened and brought to the market. Um, I always recommend to buy your avocados slightly firm, slightly firm, and then let them ripen up to the way you like them at home. So just get them ahead of time, slightly firm with a little bit of a give, hold it in the palm of your hand and squeeze it. And I mean, you know, a gentle squeeze. Don't, don't make guacamole out of it, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, and, and that'll do it. Um, buy them slightly, slightly firm, little bit of a give, and then let them ripen to the softness that you prefer at home. Once you do that and you don't use a whole thing after you cut it, then refrigerate it and you, you, you should be fine. But the fruits and vegetables are meant to be used up. They're not meant to sit around for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, yeah, I know. Well, I love, sorry, go ahead. No, it's just not the nature of the, the, the nature of the fruit and vegetables. Yeah. I know a, a lot of our customers, they're talking about how they, they go, they're afraid to go to the grocery store right now with, with this, uh, you know, pandemic and all of that. And so they, when they go, they're buying a whole lot of things and, and wasting or having things go bad. So it's um, one other thing, because I know you have videos about this. And, and by the way, you guys, Dan has the most amazing videos about different fruits and vegetables on his website. Dan, will you go ahead and say your website and how people can reach out to you? Oh, sure. It's DanTheProduceMan.com. That's, uh, that's the website. And all my social media links are on there. And then, of course, my YouTube channel, which is called Dan the Produce Man. Yeah. And uh, I started that when I was back in the retail store, and it continues today. Um, awesome. Yeah, so. There's so uh, much useful thing. And one of the things that you have on there is, I think it's on there, is how to take care of lettuce. Oh, yes. You know, that one's very popular. You get a lot of comments. And, you know, with YouTube, you get all kinds of strange comments, too, that I've, you know, I've learned to, to just live with it. Yes. Um, and, and be amused by some of them. Um, Good. It, yeah, if you go to YouTube and check out how, uh, on Dan the Produce Man's YouTube page and check out how to keep lettuce fresh for up to three weeks, it will actually uh, work for almost any greens and uh, veg broccoli and cauliflower and uh, other green items as well. There's one thing in there I have to clarify. I made that video, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago, maybe. And I use a plastic straw, and there's a lot of count comments on the plastic straw. Well, <laughs> you know, at the time, we weren't aware of the problem with plastic we straws. We were using so plastic folks, straws. <laughs> you know, don't focus on the straw and focus on keeping your lettuce fresh. You know, the best thing is to eat it up so you don't have to do that. But right. the video will tell you exactly how to keep it fresh for weeks. That's so and then right. we're coming up on stone fruit season. We're coming up on cherries and apricots. Then, of course, peaches and nectarines and plums and pluots. And those you want to buy the same way as you do the avocado. Slightly firm, let them get to the give that you want. Just put them on your counter. If you want to speed up the ripening, put them in a paper bag and fold it over. Kind of mix mix the mix the avocado and the peaches together if you want, and that will uh, help help they'll help each other ripen up from the ethylene gas that is inside of them. That's so cool. You know, a part of part of our, our mission with your natural health care is to be the place where people go for natural remedies. And, um, you know, this series, which is holistic well-being for people, is all about produce and vegetables and how to eat and how to be healthy and, you know, take care of our bodies and make sure we're the most vital that we can be, especially now. And it's, um, I recommend that people have a practice where they combine CBD with whatever their practice is. So sure. if you eat vegetables or, or like um, uh, Sarah Marshall, who we talked to on Monday, six cups of vegetables a day as, as a possible practice and some CBD, and then you can get the information like from what you provide. And, and I know that you do guest appearances and talk about the latest products, the produce that's available and all of that kind of stuff. But this combination of CBD with fruits and vegetables is the ideal one for, for our own vitality. And I know when we were talking earlier, you were talking about 
your um, leg day. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> leg day and using nano lotion, which is, you know, one of our most popular products that we have right now. But would you be willing to say your experience on that? Well, certainly. You know, for uh, several years ago, I did P90X and a bunch of other beach body workouts. And then I did Body Beast and I got, you know, I got in pretty very good shape. Um, about three years ago, I let it all go, and I started up three weeks ago and just jumped right into Body Beast. Well, that's a, it's a grueling workout, but I'm yeah. loving every minute of it. Mm -hmm. However, Legs Day for everybody is always something, you know, you'll see posts on Instagram and here and there, oh gosh, it's Legs Day. Well, what I did was I took the Your Natural Healthcare Nano CBD Lotion right before I did my legs workout, and I rubbed it on those spots on the legs, you know, uh, on different muscles. And uh, when I did the legs workout, man, afterwards I did not get those 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 achy, you know, after, after workout aches. It was great. So uh, yesterday was legs day, and I did it again, and it's working, and it's pretty darn cool. So it's a pre workout thing. Uh, it's put it on pre workout. That's killer. So so for everybody. <laughs> For everybody watching, we are running a special from, from these interviews. And when you go to your natural health care, this is the code. If you just use the code holistic, you get your 20% off and free shipping. So this is designed just for you. Wow. And just for you. Um, so I had one more very important question, Dan, before sure. I know we've been all over and I think I could probably talk to you for hours. We could go through each vegetable and <laughs> the amount of knowledge that you have is just unbelievable. So I strongly recommend that the people that are watching this video, go check out Down the Produce Man and go look at some of your videos. And you know, if you happen to be running a produce store and you want to run more effectively or you want to pivot in this environment, Dan is the one to talk to. But Absolutely. Very importantly, I wanted to know if you could tell us um, about your favorite thing to make with vegetables. <laughs> now, I've had dinner at your house before, so I know you can cook. And I know that you've been so creative about vegetables, but would you tell us your favorite dish to make? You know, that is like asking me, which I was a, a rock DJ, what my favorite song is. I mean, that's, 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 that's I love everything, but I'll tell you what, what I do the most because it's, it's simple and it's creative and I just love doing it is I love salads and uh, I really love salads and any vegetables that you chop up and throw into a bowl is a salad. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be what you've seen in restaurants and on TV. That's all common stuff. Anything even leftover stuff that you had cooked the night before or the day before, and you want to throw that in with a salad also, that that's fine. Anything. Um, I use a lot of leafy greens. I love sprouts, um, nuts and seeds, um, cucumbers, radishes, uh, you know, eggplant cooked from the night before, peppers, just an abundance of uh fruit uh, of vegetables and you can throw some fruit in there too try throwing some strawberries in there sometime and then for your dressing though this is where people really get messed up forget the creamy dressings just a little bit of little bit of olive oil or some toasted sesame oil and some lemon juice or some vinegar with a mother in it toss it up that way you don't you're not pouring it all over the place now if you do want a creamy dressing Take those ingredients, take some herbs, just whatever herbs you like, and a little bit of vinegar and oil, and then take a nice ripe avocado, throw them in the blender, Nutribullet, whatever it is that you have, blend it all up, and that'll make yourself, that'll make your creamy dressing right there. And you haven't, uh, there's no so milk for, or for, fat. So for all, all of those avocados that I bought and that are going to go bad, I can <laughs> put them in the dressing. <laughs> Well, you know, you can do guacamole with those too. And instead of using <laughs> chips, which have so many carbohydrates in them and salt and everything, you can use cucumber slices to, oh, to, to dip into the guacamole too. <laughs> that is yummy. Okay, so we have salad. Now, I've been, I love eating salad and I've been experimenting with salad, trying to find a salad that William really likes, which has been tricky in, in this in this version. <laughs> yes, I know. I have to hide many vegetables in there and see if I can get away with it. I hardly ever do, but... 
um, you know, so that's, so that's salad. And I know a lot of people are trying to get more, more fruits and vegetables in their family's bodies that don't normally go for that way. Is there um, another recipe that maybe I'm going to say is like uh, for, for new vegetable eaters, that's easy to make and, and uh, appealing, you know, like not, not offensive. <laughs> In, 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 in any in any way for people I've who are never making, seen an offensive fruit or vegetable an offensive in my vegetable. Life. <laughs> <laughs> you know some people are like oh I don't eat that you know so is yeah, there well. another like an entree that you would recommend a vegetable entree that's pretty easy to make and uh, inoffensive <laughs> take some uh, take some cauliflower try the different colors break it apart throw it in a bowl, mix it in with, uh, if you want some oil on it or not, you can. Remember, not a lot of oil. You only need less than a tablespoon. It just needs to coat it. Throw some uh, sea salt and celery seed or whatever other herbs that you want onto them. And uh, throw that in the oven at 350, 400 for about 20 minutes. And when you pull it out, oh my gosh, you can eat that like French fries. It's, it's just absolutely delicious. So that's always a nice, nice treat to mix the colors. You want to mix the colors of all the fresh fruit and vegetables that you eat. And remember, leftovers, leftovers go in the salad bowl. They go into something, go into your omelet. Just don't let them go to waste. And I also suggest that people take the trays of fruit that are uh, and vegetables that are at the bottom of the refrigerator and put something else in there. Put all the junky foods in there. Get okay. yourself a couple of plastic containers or whatever and put the fruits and the vegetables that you keep in the refrigerator on the top shelf so that when you open that door, there they are. They're not getting shuffled around down below, buried and forgotten about. That'll keep them fresh. That'll keep you, you, the rotation of them fresh and you con continuously eating them so they yeah. hit you right when you open the door. That's awesome. It's such a practical, easy thing to do. That's very cool. I, and I'm excited because I'm having cauliflower for lunch now. <laughs> All right. Very good. That's so great, Dan. And, and I really appreciate, again, you taking the time to, to talk to us. And, and I could tell this is just barely scratching the surface of some of the things that you know. Um, so I, I am grateful that there are people like you and you specifically who has studied this area that's so important for so long. And, you know, like you were telling me about bananas that don't exist anymore. And I didn't even know there was such a thing. So I'm just grateful that you're available and you're out there and you're educating people. And for everybody who is watching, again, you can contact Dan through dantheproduceman.com. That's right. And you can go to his YouTube channel, Dan the Produce Man, and learn all sorts of things like how to take care of lettuce and make it last for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> how to sure. how to pick the right thing at the grocery store. So, um, and then again, also if you are somebody or you know somebody who is is running a produce company or a grocery store and wants to pivot or to grow your business or wants the marketing, um, Dan's voiceover and and radio and his consulting is is spectacular. So I invite you all to reach out to him. And then of course, um, you get the special. Again, you get the special because you are here. If you want to buy any CBD, go to yournaturalhealthcare.com. Use the code HOLISTIC. It'll help you for leg day and um, many yes. other things. So again, Dan, just thank you so much for your time. And we'll be talking. Thank you so much, Rose. It was a real pleasure. Appreciate it. My pleasure.